A fishing boat and a good friend is all Jay Clementi needs to start a fabulous day. Radney Foster is the friend, and fly fishing on the Caney Fork is the fabulous. Jay's a Colorado kid, an outdoor fanatic, leaving that wild side for Tennessee's unknown wasn't easy. Look, is it light colored water? You want to cast the light color because there's a big drop off on the back side of it, okay? I moved away from everything that I love back home, and I mean, it took a lot to make me move, and then also to keep me here. Good. You see it? A few years ago, it was the ripples of this river that helped him get over his Rocky Mountain high. Somebody told me about the Caney Fork, and this was a number of years ago. I parked in the interstate, which you can do, and I messed around in one of the ripples down there and just had a great day, and, and I called my dad. I said, all right, I'll be able to stay in Nashville now because there's some trout here. Keep it coming all the way to the boat. And once you get it by the boat, you can just kind of, you can jig it and then do a roll cast out of there. Okay. Helping others find that pretty brown trout is what he does. Try to lay it back towards those logs. That's where it's always kind of sort of coming downstream a little bit. Jay's a full speed fishing guide, overflowing with passion. I'm gonna get you a little closer. See it? Cast right above it. Oh, dude, that's perfect. Great, just let it, let it do its thing. Pulse it. Wait, wait. Now, yeah, good, good. And after about 30 minutes of trying, it pays off. There he is. Nice, oh, nice fish, fish, too. That guy's not going to come unbutton, I don't think. Oh, yeah. There he is. For the next hour, it's a fisherman's feast. That's his smaller buddy, actually. Oh, yeah. Got him? Oh, yeah. Nice fish. If Jay and Radney weren't releasing every trout they hooked, well, they'd need a bigger boat, or maybe just a bigger stage. Jay's other passion is music. I heard myself whisper my sweet rose. Let me steal you away from the rain. She said you crazy fool. Jay and his band, brothers Matt and Andy Thompson, make up the Lucky Bucks. Music City and Big Dreams are what drove the need to leave Colorado. The trout were a bonus. He's hoping this career goes far beyond the campfire. I keep it here when I'm hanging with my friends, but then something happens when I run into you. Proof of the pain starts running down my face, and I use all my strength, but there's nothing I can do. If I ever make a big hit in music and get a lot of money someday and, and I'm all set, then uh, I'll be right back on this river guiding. I mean, that's just who I am and what I love to do. The two go hand in hand. The need for fresh songs fits well with the hunt for fresh fish. Oh, come on. That was right over a big old stone. Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm right Do you see how ahead. awesome that was? Yeah. I usually release everything, <laughs> so we have to come back with the song. You better start coming up with some ideas, man. We're supposed to be writing. One of the cool things is that we actually can fool both our wives, publishers, and a lot of other people into saying, you know what, we're going to go fishing and we're going to come up with an idea for a song and we, we might even finish one out there. And the funny thing is, we actually have. Radney Foster's a fishing pal and a highly successful singer and songwriter, writing hits for Keith Urban, Kenny Chesney, and Sarah Evans. Together they search for hits on the water and in the studio. He kind of became my songwriting mentor, and I, and I became his fly fishing mentor. He said, Radney, you need an obsession. I was going through a rough patch, <laughs> and he said, you need a new obsession. <laughs> and uh, so he took me fly fishing one time, and I was hooked. And uh, the first place I ever really caught a trout was here on the Caney Fork River. Double. They're too busy pulling fish in to write anything today. And it's that kind of success on the water that's great for the guide side of life. A couple of small brown trout. <laughs> Good yeah. job, man. I've got clients that have just on a whim come out and, and fish for stripers with me or fish for trout, and they, they come back every year, you know, sometimes five, six, seven, eight you know, times a year because they didn't know what kind of great fishing we have in Tennessee. 
Now he's getting the word out about his songs, well aware that the music biz isn't easy. It's a lot like a long day in the boat without any bites. Fortunately, Jay's got his own guy, a very important lifelong friend. Always telling me, don't get your head down, man. You just keep doing your thing and times might get tough. You just shine on, just keep, keep on. Shine on while down. The friend is also his fishing buddy, his dad. You leave each place a little better than you found it. I love that about you. When I was eight years old, I got my first fly rod, and so he and I learned together how to fly fish. The memories make every day on the river worthwhile, but Jay's not out here sightseeing. Catching fish is always top priority. Yeah, it matters. I've been doing it too long. It's like it matters. Listen, we absolutely, I love being out there, but I like catching them, I hunt them. It's a nice way to live. Success in the morning and a melody at night. Keep walking that high wire and you'll live with no regrets. And shine on wild diamonds. This is just right. We feel at home right here. Terry Bulger on Tennessee's Wild Side. I love that about you, and though the world may doubt.